This video is going to be on unlocking the bootloader on the ASUS Transformer Prime. I'm going to go ahead and click on Viper Boy's link he posted. Got to exit Skype here for a second. All right, so we're going to go ahead and download it. Save it to the desktop. This is going to take forever. Me and my messy desktop. I don't actually use this laptop that much anymore. I still use it because it's 32-bit and it's currently got all the drivers I need on it. Plus, I'm in my bedroom where it's quiet and I can shut the door and you don't hear my daughter as nearly as loud as you would if I was in the living room. Now I need to right click on it. Extract it. Hopefully he didn't put a folder inside a folder. He did. Oh well. No big deal. Alright, I'm going to go to my video and I'm going to click on my link right here. Okay, so the APK is done downloading. This is where you gotta decide, do you want your warranty gone forever? You gotta acknowledge that your warranty is now screwed. I'm not gonna do it, simply because of the fact that there's nothing really good out just yet. But if you were gonna do it, you would check agree, and you'd proceed to unlock your device. I have to contact ASUS because I have screen bleed and I have two dead pixels at the top. So I need to contact ASUS and see if they'll fix it and then I'll go ahead and proceed with this. They're gonna have a CyanogenMod 9 ROM here very soon. I don't know how they're gonna manage like the dock charging and all that. So I'm going to let it, I'm, go, I'm gonna let someone else take over. There's other people that have a Transformer Prime that will probably make this video. I will eventually unlock it and I'll make a video when I actually do unlock it. <laughs> I'm just having a really hard time and I'm chicken, chickening out because I do need to send my Prime in to get it exchanged. But yeah, the CM9 ROM is going to be released here in a few days, they said. And of course, it's going to be very alpha. And to be completely honest with you, this is ice cream sandwich. I don't know how they're going to do the, this right here uh, where you can tell how much battery you have left in each one. I'm actually happy with it the way it is. Once CyanogenMod 9 becomes more stable and they get more things working, then I'll be very tempted to install that because it'll be bloatware free and you don't get any more updates once you do that. You Updates are gone. CyanogenMod, you don't got to worry about it because they're quick. They'll update it to 4.0.4. .4. They'll get it on and popping. And I can't believe I just said that. So do what I just did to unlock your bootloader. Double click on the ViperMod Primetime 4.5 EXE and that will root your device with the latest update and will install Clockwork Mod Recovery. Damn, I'm having a hard freaking time. I want to do it, but I also want to send my freaking Prime in, get a new one, and then do it. You can only really see the two dead pixels whenever it's like on a black screen and then you can see bleeding in the bottom pretty bad and actually in some of my videos that I didn't edit you can actually see it so I need to send this in I have no choice but the only reason I've neglected to do it so far is because it's going to take forever to get another one back. It is rooted right now but I could easily unroot it with Viper Boy's one click root thing. This is what would Josh do and I'm sorry to disappoint.